Hey guys, it's Frank. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are unaware, I live in good old Canada and this country is uh, fairly cold. In fact, I live in three different cities from Winnipeg, Calgary and Toronto. And uh, I, I guess I can say I experienced uh, my share of coldness. I have family still out in Calgary and it was quite surprising when they uh, shared with me that they were hit by snow already when I was looking out my Toronto window and uh, I see, uh, I actually see rain, but no snow whatsoever. Why you always lying? So after hearing about the devastating news about the snow, um, I, uh, knowing myself, I went on YouTube and I came across this video titled Winter Snowstorm Hits Calgary and based on this thumbnail, you already know there's going to be a decent amount of snow. So how about this guys, why don't we react to this video together and I'll give you my thoughts as a former Calgarian and, uh, a person that lived in a city that was even colder than Calgary. So with that said guys, give this video a good old smash and now let's begin. Just like thousands of Calgarians, I spent my morning shoveling this snow that just keeps on falling, making Wednesday's commute a slow one for many. Ah, oh, those are the worst days when you're like heading out to school or work and then um, you're already late and then you have to shovel your car before you can even leave out your driveway. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely don't miss those uh, days uh, ever since moving back to Toronto. Not to say Toronto doesn't get the um, bad snow weather, but a lot worse than Calgary and even Winnipeg for that matter. Also that scraping sound of the, uh, the shovel and the concrete, like I will never forget that sound because I've uh, shoveled way too many times uh, in my life. I gave myself 45 minutes extra to get to work this morning and I'm glad I did because I made it just in time. A 45 minute commute is uh, pretty bad. Uh, I used to do that when I used to commute from downtown Toronto to Mississauga and uh, that was without snow so you, you can already kind of tell how bad the commute is uh, out here versus uh, in Calgary. The usual deer foot backups, the usual snow plows. I remember because I think a lot of people commute um, for, for whatever reason and uh, that part of Red Deer there's always a lot of traffic uh, snow or without snow in general but it uh, doesn't help with the snow for sure. Taken forever. It's been at least 15 minutes I'd say I've been here waiting for the train. Uh, I remember the good old days taking a bus in uh, even harsher temperatures out in uh, Winnipeg. It was minus 30 or 40 even one time and I remember waiting for a bus that comes like once every half an hour and uh, you, you can already imagine how uh, painful that was. As snow graders clear the roads and buses roll through the fresh flakes, winter has finally hit YYC. This was one of the big things that I remember out in Calgary when I first moved there because I moved in October and I remember like maybe two or three weeks after I moved there, snow was already hitting and I was like, what? But like everyone else in Toronto is like, is chilling in uh, like, double digits like in the 20s and I was like why, why am I dealing with snow already? Witnessing several scary moments on their morning drive. A couple close calls. I saw one fella go right through a traffic circle into a tree unfortunately and then uh, on the way to the office I saw multiple vehicles in the ditch on Stony. Yeah he's right driving on ice is very scary like I dodged a lot of accidents like it, actually in fact um, there was one time when I was uh, driving home from the mountains out in, uh, or I was returning back to Calgary, and I remember hitting black ice, and I avoided the car in front of me, but the car behind me uh, actually uh, hit the passenger side of my car. I think it's fair to say this is the one thing that I really hate about snow, and it's the amount of uh, issues it causes with it. Like, winter activity is fun, going down skiing and whatsoever, but the amount of accidents uh, that it causes driving, I'm not a fan of that. Good job! And many changing their normal daily routines due to the snowstorm. We actually had a bunch of play dates today, but unfortunately we took one look outside the window and realized that shoveling snow was gonna be our dates instead today. For some reason, I'm remembering um, snowball fights where uh, when I was in school and then you would throw uh, snowballs that, that weren't allowed obviously to like grades that were plus and minus one of your current age. We all collectively agreed to shut the office down at noon today and send everybody home early so everyone can get home safe. This is pretty much why I love working from home because you don't have to commute. Like you basically, um, like this gentleman commuted 45 minutes to go to the office only to um, learn by noon that they're gonna send everyone off home anyway. So it's like, what's the point of commuting in the first place? You wasted an hour and a half. 
Calgary Police confirming with City News over 231 crashes have been reported in between 12 a.m. and 4 p.m. Wednesday, 13 involving injuries and 22 hit and runs. On snow days like what we're seeing on screen, um, those are the scariest days to uh, go driving in general. Like if you don't have winter tires, it's like very, very dangerous out uh, <laughs> driving in, uh, especially in, in Calgary. Driving in Calgary in winter, I would say, in my opinion, is probably more scary than out in even in Winnipeg, just given that Calgary has a lot more slopes and hills. So you combine the, the, the slopes and the hills with like black ice and snow, it gets become super dangerous driving out in that. Uh, Calgary. For those traveling, the Calgary airport seeing some delays and cancellations, but most flights are departing on time. Some aren't feeling the effects of snow at all. One outdoor business, Launchpad Golf, a driving range open all year round to golfers, still expecting plenty of customers this week. Given I'm not that too big of a golf person, actually I think I've only gone golfing like two, three times, and that's because of work, but Never knew you could go golfing in snow. And we can't forget about our furry friends who have no complaints about the winter weather and are diving right in. Must be nice being a dog where you have so much fur and then you see snow and you probably are like thinking like, oh, thank God. It's about time I can like, like cool off and not have to deal with the beaming sun. Um, uh, at least that's what I think, um, what goes through a, a dog's mind. After a mild October, this heavy snowfall was just a matter of time. Now it's time for me to get back to work. In Calgary, Bailey Nitty City News. Maybe it's my inner video editing stuff, but uh, like I can imagine the uh, producer just being like, okay, let's wrap this up. It's getting cold. Um, just, just shovel one last time before we, uh, we cut this scene. <laughs> I don't know. I can already tell by the color and the sound of that um, that shovel hitting the, the floor. Uh, she needs a better uh, the shovel because this one, you can tell it, like if she's not dealing with light snow, that thing will snap. All right, guys. All in all, I want to say this is a great video, kind of showing everyone how early snow hits out in Calgary. Like again, like I said, this is probably one of the most surprising things that I remember when I first moved there, where I was like, "Whoa, why is snow hitting so early?" And uh, but the good thing is that you do get Chinooks throughout your winter time. So unlike Winnipeg, where once snow hits, it's staying there for the rest of the year. Calgary, you'll see snow, and then sometimes it'll melt, and then it'll snow again. But uh, it, it will snow earlier than a lot of places out in uh, Canada. So anyhow, with that said, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and me react to the winter snowstorms uh, hitting Calgary. If you like me reacting to more uh, city-related videos, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.